Hey y'all, so today I have swatches and comparisons for the Zoya Fall 2020 Luscious Collection. As usual, I only picked up a few from this collection. I picked up five out of the 12. I don't think this was the most unique collection as you'll see in my comparisons, but I could not resist the fall colors and I had to pick some up. So right now Zoya is doing a second run of their Earth Day Exchange. If you've never checked it out, you should definitely go to their website and it has all of the information and how it works. But essentially it ends up being a buy one get one free sell. And so if you're looking to pick up some Zoya polish, now is definitely the time. It runs until September 30th. What I really like about the Zoya website is they tell you the opacity or what they call intensity and also the tone of the polish as well as giving a really good description. So when I give the description like I normally do, I'm gonna add those in also. And I think that's enough rambling. <laughs> Let's get into swatches. First up we have Mel, which is described as a slightly muted forest green cream. And this is a level five on the intensity scale, which is the most opaque. One is sheer, five is opaque, and it's a warm tone polish. So here's the first coat. As you can see, it covers really, really well. I would say just on the edge of being a one coater, I had a few little light spots that I wanted to cover up, but I think you could get away with this in one coat for sure. And here's the second coat. So here is Mel two coats plus top coat. For this first comparison, I have OPI Susie, the first lady of nails. I would say this is so close to a dead on dupe. If you have one, you probably don't need the other, but I do think there's a little bit of an undertone difference. I don't know how well it shows up in the photo, but in person, I could see that there was a little bit of an undertone difference. And then I have Zoya's Charlie and Essie Exposed. Now these definitely are not dupes, not even close. Uh, for some reason in my head, they were more similar, but they're not. Next up we have Lou, which is described as a deep spruce blue cream with a kiss of green. This is also a five on the intensity scale and it's a cool tone polish. Here's the first coat. Again, really great coverage. You could probably get away with this in one coat. I'm sure after a few uses it, it will be a one coater. It's very, very close now. But at the top of my nail, there are a few little light spots. Here's the second coat, and this does bring it completely opaque. So here's Lou, two coats plus top coat. For comparison, I have OPI Drama at La Scala, which was from their fall collection this year. And they are very similar. Lou is a little bit lighter and just a little bit dustier than Drama at La Scala, but they are very similar. I think it would just be a matter of preference. Next up we have Tommy, which is described as a blue toned slate gray cream. This is also a five on the intensity scale and it's cool tone. So here's the first coat. And this was completely opaque for me in one coat. So here's Tommy one coat plus top coat. For comparisons, I have Zoya Darby and Essie Petal Pushers. Darby is very similar, or the base of it is very similar. It does have that blue shimmer in it. It is just a little bit lighter and a little less blue toned. And then we have Petal Pushers, which is a completely different kind of gray. I think it's a little more brown tone gray. Next up, we have Andrea, which is described as a cool tone duochrome metallic with a purple and green shift. This is a four on the intensity scale and it is cool toned. 
You can see the duochrome in the bottle a little bit better than it shows up on the nail in most lighting. So here is the first coat. And this one was opaque for me in one coat. This lighting is not the best to show the duochrome in. I tried to get it a little bit better in the pictures. It's not the strongest, so it's a little difficult to capture. Here is Andrea, one coat plus top coat. For comparison, I have Moonshine Manny Paint the Sky. Moonshine Manny is an indie brand. It's made by Phoebe Moon, who also has a YouTube channel. I'm sure you've heard of her. If not, you definitely need to check her out and Moonshine Manny. This was the closest I had in terms of like the duochrome shift, but Moonshine Manny is a little more intense and it does have some other components to the polish. It's not metallic like Andrea is. That's the closest thing I had. And last but not least, we have Soleil, which is described as a warm, sparkling cider metallic. This is a 5 on the intensity scale, and it is warm toned. And here's the first coat. And here is the second coat. You could probably get away with this in one coat also. I just had a few light spots still. Here is Soleil, two coats plus top coat. This is so pretty. I've already worn it once and it's just the beginning of fall. So I will probably get a lot of wear out of this. For comparisons, I have Halcyon from Cirque Colors and Essie Leggy Legend. Definitely no dupes. Halcyon is a completely different kind of metallic. It's a little more glittery. Leggy Legend is a little more bronze and deeper. So that's all I have for y'all today. Leave me a comment. Tell me what your favorite polish from this collection was. Or if you picked up any of the ones that I didn't. What your favorite out of those were. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video.